Well, in Washington, D.C., of course, it's the heart of political power, certainly in the United States, if not the world. What's important for us to remember is that uh, all the folks up here with influence are not elected officials. They're, certainly, they're lobbyists, but there are thousands and thousands uh, of bureaucrats, no doubt many well-meaning, but bureaucrats which can control virtually every aspect of our lives. And with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and the Dodd-Frank Act, we have perhaps the, the greatest leap forward in a political power grab since the Roosevelt administration in the 1930s after the Great Depression. If you read past the headlines, you find very quickly that there were a lot of things going on with affordable housing goals and policies and ways in which the government, frankly, uh, distorted the natural incentives of the mortgage market uh, for, for reasons that I think that may be, may be laudable to help lower income people afford houses. But what I think it was sinister is the way in which the false narrative was established very quickly. The real causes were buried. And as a result, we were able to get a, a federal act, a, a massive new law mandating new bureaucracies, supposedly to prevent another financial crisis. And yet, if you look at it in detail, it turns out many of the things that cause a crisis are now permanently institutionalized. And so there's, a, there's an interesting and important economic question. Of course, we want to know what caused the crisis so we don't have another one. Um, but there's also the, simply the moral question. What, what's the truth and what actually happens to people as a result of policies we might think sound nice?